A new gymnastics polls came out today. LSU is now ranked second in the country. And on nights when the Tigers are home, the atmosphere at a gymnastics meet is like no other. This has now become the norm for LSU gymnastics. The Maravich Assembly Center sold out. We have shirtless men that have their chest painted at the LSU gymnastics meets. I mean, it, you can't beat that. The student section is packed and the building is packed to the rafters with groups that look like this, a Baton Rouge Girl Scout troop. I mean, this is perfect family, good family fun. Great role models, girls that work hard at what they do. It's ultra meaningful to be able to have um, so many little girls out there. It's a fan base unlike any other at LSU, and the meet itself is a fast-paced spectacle. It's almost like uh, a Broadway show. I mean, it's so entertaining. Competing in the PMAC, especially when it's packed like that, it just gives you like an extra boost that you can't even explain to people. It's just so amazing. Maya Hambrick is this year's star, and on this night, she and the Tigers beat sixth ranked Kentucky. And while a horrible Olympic scandal has cast a cloud over the sport nationally, you'd never know that here. That's not even on my radar. No, not, not coming out here. Our girls are just, this is just perfect fun. And the architect of that fun, the legendary Dee Dee Bro, who's now in her 41st year at LSU. The best part about Dee Dee is her enthusiasm, for sure. She is a fighter. She is so competitive. She's a great role model for women. Um, her strength, um, her energy, everything about her. To be able to do it for 40 years at the level that she does it with that energy, she's, she's pretty special. Dee Dee Bro arrived at LSU in 1978. She's from Donaldsonville, and she passionately pushed for her program, but struggled for support until she says Skip Bertman took over as athletic director in 2001. I knew, I knew we could do what Skip Bertman did at baseball. I knew we could do that. I knew we could put these people in the stands, and they would love the sport and appreciate the sport. And of course, just like Bertman was right about baseball, Dee Dee Bro was right about gymnastics. She says the final piece of the puzzle was when Joe Oliva became LSU's athletic director. Oliva pushed this $12 million gymnastics training facility paid for by the Tiger Athletic Foundation. He started talking about it, started talking about it to TAF, started talking about it to the Board of Supervisors, and it became a reality. I really thought that with the, the right investment in the program that it could be really, really special. Until two years ago, this was the home of LSU Gymnastics. It's a significantly less luxurious workplace here in part of the Tigers Fieldhouse. Now, the move to the new facility represents a major step forward for LSU Gymnastics, but that includes in how the university perceives the sport. It means LSU now sees gymnastics as one of its premier sports. The state-of-the-art facility allows Dee Dee's team to operate faster, more efficiently, and with less wear and tear. And it's paying off. With All-American Ashley Natt leading the way, LSU finished second in America last season for the second straight year. And sellouts unheard of a decade ago are now the norm. She knew the potential of this program. She had a vision for it. And I think now she is um, living in the fruits of that dream. It's a tremendous amount of professional gratification to, to know that, that you perceived it and, and, and dreamt about it, and, and it's happening. <laughs> Louisiana is not considered a hotbed of amateur gymnastics, but as Dee Dee's passion spreads, youth coaches across the state report the number of young girls signing up for gymnastics is rising. And that has a lot to do with Dee Dee Bro. She is quick to credit the SEC network. The TV format for a gymnastics meet makes it fast and fun. But again, Dee Dee Bro is the difference maker. And LSU has been close to a national championship, but they've never won one in gymnastics. Maybe this is the year.